This was me four years ago. Late night partier, all day work grinder. I love a good party, but also the lack of sleep and routine wreaked havoc on my mental health and recovery. That was until this guy came along. What is sleep? You wake up in the morning in your circadian cycle. Sleep is... Now there's no magic pill for health, but, but if there's one thing that will drastically improve your mental, physical, and emotional health, it's sleep. Feeling tired, did you get enough sleep? Cravings, did you sleep? Screaming at your partner for not refilling the toilet paper roll. Did you get good quality of sleep? I used to think good sleep was just how many hours you slept in a night. My eyes have been opened that it's not just the importance of the seven to eight hours, but also the quality. I'm talking REM and deep sleep. Probably the single most effective thing you can do to reset your brain and body health. Three years back, I started using a ring to track my sleep and doing little hacks to improve it. Morning sunlight, evening sunset, magnesium before bed, sleepy tea, cold shower, sauna. But there was one last thing I had to try. Bedroom temperature, primarily my bed temperature. If you've binged every Huberman podcast like myself, you've probably noticed a couple of consistent sponsors, AG1, Element, Momentus, and the one I was very intrigued to try, Eat Sleep. Along the center Huberman challenge, if there's one thing he's made me become obsessed with. It's my sleep. And I'm so excited for this. What's the most advanced Pokemon Charizard or say? I got the Charizard. I got the Charizard of Andrew Huberman. I'm gonna test it for you guys. Not, not these Uggs. Baby, we got the ultimate Andrew Huberman sponsor. We have smart watches, rings, mirrors, water bottles, and now potentially the most exciting of them all, a smart mattress. So I use the Eight Sleep mattress for three months to see the pros, cons, and if the cover can drastically improve my sleep and in turn, improve my quality of life. Let's set this bad boy up. It comes in three boxes, and the pod cover by Eight Sleep fits on a bed like a fitted sheet. You put it on two covers, strap them together, hook up the machine that kind of looks like an Xbox beside it, and fill it with water, and this is where I screwed up. <sighs> the placebo effect is a crazy thing. I slept on this for four days and was like, oh yeah, it's kind of nice. And then I had to admit, I was like, this isn't working. This is stupid. It does not get that cold. It does not get this hot. This is a dumb piece of mechanics. And then I went on the customer service. They have customer service right on the app. This is at 9 p.m. at night, and they got back to me within five minutes. That is unheard of. And and someone stayed on it the entire time and helped me out. Turns out when you prime it, you fill it with water. You do it three times, I did it once. And then after that night, I was like, oh my God, this thing is powerful. The hot is hot and the cold is freezing. Um, so yeah, make sure you prime it three times, not once, like this idiot right here. And yes, looking back when I set it up a second time, it does very clearly say, do it three times. I just don't follow instructions. <laughs> Now for a mini vlog break, as I'm gonna bring you through a day in the life of using an eight sleep. Good morning. You notice how there wasn't any burr, burr, crazy alarm? Cause it vibrated to get me up. Oh, it's so much nicer. Bad boy just sits right beside the bed. So then I sit here and review my sleep score. So last night, my sleep quality was 93%, so that's pretty good. Routine, routine was 91 and time sleep, six hours and 45 minutes, not great. But I had great REM and deep sleep and my HRV is improving. And I get so much satisfaction sitting here and reviewing my stats versus going on social media. It's like I just won the game and the game was sleep. An hour before your bedtime, it starts to go to your program temperature. For me, that's a three out of 10 warm. For Megs, that's a six out of 10 cold because he is a psychopath. I turn on the AC in the room and I crawl into bed and there's no better feeling than being in a cold room with a cozy, warm bed already ready to go. Now this is my favorite part. When you sleep, to get quality sleep, your core temperature needs to drop, but I hate it. So it's programmed to warm up when I crawl into it, cozy, and then it drops cold when I'm asleep because I don't even notice, and then programmed to heat right back up so it's cozy when I wake up. Like hiding spinach and pasta sauce for a toddler. Did you know that temperature is one of the most important factors in improving your sleep quality? When you wake up in the middle of the night or feel a little extra groggy in the morning, temperature is almost always to blame. And my HRV and quality of sleep went to show this. 
Two weeks in this, I could not shut up about it. I'm sorry, it became a game. My biggest struggle is not sleep. My biggest struggle is getting to bed. But guess what this did? I got so excited to perfectly program my bed that it got me to go to bed before 10 o'clock because I created the perfect environment. I would lower down the temperature in my room and then I would crank up my eight sleep mattress. So even though I got into my bedroom and I was chilled, my bed was already warm. Oh, but my partner's the opposite. So are me and my boyfriend. We have opposite settings. So the body needs to drop by about anywhere from two to three degrees in order to get into your deepest sleep. Now I had a little tester moment because I had it for two months in Vancouver, then came to Sweden for a month and we didn't have access to it. And then we've had it again for a month. I kept my sleep tracking ring on the entire time just to compare metrics. And I did notice when I didn't have the eight sleep mattress in that month, my quality of sleep, I lost about 30 minutes of deep sleep and my HRV never got into the 40s. I'm constantly trying to do the 40s and 50s and when I was using my eight sleep mattress it was the most consistent HRV I had. What is HRV and why is it important? Heart rate variability is the variation in the time intervals between heartbeats. Harvard Medical, based on data gathered, if someone is in flight or fight mode, the variability between heart rates is lower. So it can indicate that someone is stressed out, overtraining, or under recovering. And the best part is you don't need a sleep tracker ring or watch if you have the eight sleep mattress because it tracks it. Hi, do I look rough? Because I feel rough. I just got to Sweden. I currently don't have my eight sleep mattress. We're getting one. But normally I wake up before my ex. And today he decided to go golfing. And so he woke up before me on a Saturday at 6 a.m. And how many times did this man hit snooze? Five. Can we make unofficial rule? If you have someone sharing a bed with you, you're allowed one snooze button. And what does this have to do with eight sleep? I forgot how jarring a regular alarm is because the last two months I've been spoiled. Eight sleep has a, just like this little nudge. You don't even notice it. At first I thought it'd be like <laughs> earthquake, but no, it's just a little oops, oops, and then suddenly you're like, oh, I'm awake. It's just a little buzz. It just kind of shakes a little. And how nice is that for your partner? I will not survive golf season if this man is hitting snooze five times. Well, I might survive, but our relationship won't. <laughs> but thank God we're getting the eight sleep mattress and then he can just turn the vibrate on him and it won't even disrupt me. Even if he hits snooze. <laughs> Times. The pod cover will improve your sleep by automatically adjusting temperature on each side of the bed based on you and your partner's individual needs. It can cool down and warm up and adjust based on the phases of your sleep and the environment that you are in. And yes, you can have completely opposite ones between you and your partner. Or like when I'm in Vancouver and I'm normally sleeping alone, you just have the whole bed to yourself. So it's been 70 days on the eight sleep mattress. Now, technically it's not exactly three months. I had a little bit of a few week break because I didn't have it in Sweden, but we brought it to Sweden and then we had it and oh my my god I forgot how much I missed it especially I only had it when it was cold out so it was really nice to have it when the heat was cranked but now that it's boiling hot here in Sweden it's kind of nice to experience the reverse where you get into bed and it's cool oh it's nice too so after 90 days of using the eight sleep mattress, what are my thoughts and the pros and cons? First, the cons. This has happened to me a few times. Sometimes I get up to pee in the middle of the night and this has been motivation to not chug water right before bed because I know I shouldn't, but I do it anyways, it's a habit. You know how I said I hate that cold? Well, when I crawl back into the bed, I notice I'm like, oh yeah, my mattress is cold. It's not cozy going back in. It still is cozy, but the mattress itself is cold. So that's really on me not drinking before bed. <laughs> to the cost, but I got something for you. Stay tuned to the end. I will say my mattress back in Vancouver, it did make it a little thick because I have a thick boy. It is a, and I just have the thickest mattress ever. I don't know why this specific mattress is so thick. It's abnormal because our mattress here in Sweden is very thick and we have a thick mattress topper on top of it and they sleep perfectly fit it. But for whatever reason, I have this really thick one. So I noticed it kind of made my mattress hard at first, but I just unzipped it a little bit and noticed once the heating happened, it kind of like softened up my mattress and then it went normal. But the first time I slept on it, it felt a little harder than normal, but we made the adjustments. And I think that's a my mattress problem because that did not happen to our one in Sweden, which is still thick. Just my Vancouver one is like, Thick, thick, thick. I will say sleep tracking, that's not the main reason to get this, it's definitely the quality of sleep and the temperature. The sleep tracking and the vibration just like an added bonus on top. And I do know tracking sleep for some people is negative for some people. If they look at their stats and they see they have a negative outcome, they're gonna be tired all day. It's almost like the placebo effect. Had they not looked at it, they wouldn't have noticed it. For me, I've never noticed that because I kind of lie to myself when it's a bad sleep. And I'm like, oh, these things aren't that accurate. <laughs> 
<laughs> and then as soon as it's a good sleep, I'm like, I am well rested, I won. It's just, it really just depends on your personality. There's a ton of benefits from this, even if you just don't wanna look at the tracking. So the pros, the stats on my REM and deep sleep, just getting the stats and they did significantly both improve 10 to 30 minutes on average whenever I'm using my eight sleep mattress. And also now I don't need to wear my ring because I do have the tracking on the mattress. How customizable it is. You can pick the temperature, you crawl into bed, when you're in REM sleep, when you're in deep sleep and when you wake up. So you can have a perfect temperature mattress depending on the season and just what you prefer. There is this like little faint water noise sometimes to it when it's like heating up and I kind of love it. It's so unnoticeable to most people, but I just love any kind of just like water noise. I find that benefit and the app actually has white noises and all these different sounds you can use that help you go to sleep. Now this is a pro for my partner, con for me. Because he cranks his so cold, I no longer crawl on his side of the bed and hog three quarters of the bed because I don't want to be where it's that cold. So, you know, that sucks for me, but also I should stay on my side of the bed. <laughs> The biggest thing for me is just creating an environment that makes me want to go to sleep. This gets me excited. This I'm like, this is so customized. This is going to be perfect. It's going to feel so good getting into bed and it has gamified sleep. And that sounds so dumb, but people who struggle with dopamine like myself realize the Netflix show and the YouTube and my cell phone is a lot more exciting than my mattress. That's the reality of it. So I stay up till two in the morning and then I complain that I'm tired in the morning versus now I get that like stimulation, that excitement to get into bed and crawl into this coziness and I just want to create this amazing environment in my bedroom that makes me want to get to bed. And last, it, it was really cool coming to Sweden and being without it after using it for two months and seeing what my average was again because my body temperature was always high when I got to sleep. We even got AC installed and I still couldn't get it low enough and I noticed my HRV was still in the 20s, low 30s and I lost those 40s because you want a high HRV that I was just so excited to get. And now that I have it again here, I can see my HRV trickling back into the 40s and dare I say the occasional 50. In my arsenal, I've just learned something for myself that I've really started spending money on in the last you know, five years is my bedroom, my bed. If there's been a greater return on investment, it is I've put money onto my mattress, sleepy time tees, the right lighting in my bedroom, right temperature, and now the eight sleep mattress. And it's these little things, but they have improved everything. My mental health, my skin, my creativity. It's like sleep is so important. And so I think investing in optimizing your sleep the best way is something that's gonna be an unbelievable return on investment. But who doesn't love a return on investment? That comes with a discount code. And I got one for you guys. If you'd like to try the 8sleep mattress, go to 8sleep.com slash Kelty and you'll get up to $150 off. They ship to Canada, US, UK, some EU countries, and Australia. Once again, that's 8sleep.com slash Kelty for that discount. And this was so fun. At the age that we sign up for marathons and do cold showers. Mm. I just love, they were kind of getting to the point now that technology, I remember when like the first Apple watches came out and that, and they were like so base level for technology and health. Slowly have all these resources of things that can improve our sleep, our health, our mental health. And, and I just love testing out things like this. So if you guys would like me to test out any other fitness gadgets of the sort, comment down below. I'd love to bring it to you guys. And this one was so much fun. And I'm sorry I talked about it so much. It was like, I did not realize how much I love this because gamifying sleep. <laughs> Otherwise I won't go to bed because I am a toddler that has to parent themselves and hide spinach in my pasta sauce and cold while I'm asleep. Otherwise I won't do it because cold showers suck. <laughs> and most importantly, have a great day. Go pet a dog. Love you guys. Bye.